Good evening, Namaste and Kira. I, Richard Kumar, once again welcome you all on Apna Talk 36 on Apna Television. Now, as you know that every week I bring you different types of events and different religious programs on television. Now, this week I've got the privilege to interview the president of uh, Nepalese Cultural Centre New Zealand, INC. Now, they are doing a function, they are doing a big event, which they have been doing for the last number of years. And um, this year again, they are doing it, uh, the fifth multi-ethnic dance festival, which is going to be held in uh, Beaumont Street. Uh, in the city, and on that topic and on that event, I'll be talking to uh, Mr. Kamal Shrestha. Now, uh, Mr. Kamal Shrestha is the president of uh, the Nepalese organization which are holding that uh, event. Mr. Kamal, I welcome you on my television. Thank you. Namaskar. First of all, Mr. Kamal, we want to know that how big is the event and how long this event has been going for. Oh, well, the thing actually, it, it definitely, it's a big event in the sense that now we are expecting about 2,400 people in the in, in the, the hall, mm -hmm. and this f festival actually now it's uh, the, the fifth one. Mm -hmm. Actually, we started from 2016, mm -hmm. and with uh, just uh, I mean say with an objective says to include the almost all the ethnic groups uh, from New Zealand. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know it's the fifth one. Yes. No, uh, you, you've told me that uh, this uh, festival has been going quite for like maybe last five years or something. And this is the fifth one. Is it happens once a year? That's right. It's an annual event. Mm. It's, it's, that's correct. Yeah. Mm. And what sort of how many different cultures are involved? How many different religious uh, ethnicity people are uh, involved in this uh, festival? Right. Actually, now when we started for the first time, that was in 2016. Mm. We had just about 12, 13 ethnic groups, mm -hmm. and do, those groups they took part, and we had just in total about 17, 18 uh, items. I mean, uh, in that one. But now. As the time goes, and now in this second, the size started growing. Now in the third one, again more. In the fourth, uh, we had around 38 ethnic groups. 38 and from 38 groups. in the last one, last year, mm -hmm. uh, with about from the 23, 24 uh, these countries of origins. So coming to this event, which is going to be held on 28th, am I right? If I'm not uh, wrong. Yes, that's yes. right. Yes. So which is going to be a Saturday night, and it starts at 5 p.m. Yes. And how many groups are taking part in this event? Right, this time uh, now because of time time constraint now because we're just trying to make it for a short and um, just a short, short time that means for starting at five o'clock mm -hmm. and trying to conclude around nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. That's why, well, because of the time constraint now we're we're going to have just about twenty five twenty six group this time, mm -hmm. uh, and they are from again the same almost um, about twenty countries of origin. So, how many different items you'll be looking at? Like, have you done your programs? Yes. Now, actually, we, we only, even people all the time said everything. They are intact. Even yeah. Yeah, well, copy is available for you also. Now, mm -hmm. I think when we finish this one, I'll pass it to you also. Uh, it's almost 99% accurate, actually. Mm -hmm. Always yeah. at the last minute, you don't know actually mm -hmm. that one percent actually there might be small changes. But then anyway, we have got everything, to the time seats and mm -hmm. all the programs, they are in intact. They are already there now. Now, Mr. Kamala, as far as uh, your event is concerned and as far as COVID-19 is concerned, now you know that most of the festivals, even I had to, even Apna Television had to cancel Apna Holy Festival, which was a few months ago, and because of COVID-19, we had to cancel it. Otherwise, that would have been the biggest festival in New Zealand. But due to COVID-19, what steps have you taken for the safety uh, of the people who will be coming there? Right. It's a very interesting question, actually. Like, you know, I must add one thing before I answer your questions, that basically this program was scheduled for the 26th of September, mm -hmm. right? Because of this thing, actually, the, the pandemic, they we were forced to just reschedule it for, for the 28th of, 8th of November. Now, definitely now, what we are even telling to all the, the people now who are joining this the one is just to take maximum precautions, like even when they enter, I mean, so they come to the, to the hall, actually, they, come, they should come with the marks, which is a must, actually. Now, now that is one of the, the best way of checking, I mean, the controlling the thing. Apart from that, whatever the government is suggesting, the government is telling us to do, I think we're going to follow up all the steps. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just to, well, because we know that if, if something goes wrong, actually, because we are organizing, uh, organizing the festival every year, mm -hmm. it, it's going to have a bad impact in, in the, for the future program. That's why whatever the government is suggesting, government is asking us, I mean, to do that, I'm sure we'll be taking all this. Now, uh, Mr. Kamala, as far as seating arrangements are concerned, 
Uh, they're going to be sitting right next to each other, or there'll be a gap between each two people? All right, it's a good question again. Now, definitely, I don't see that there will be the, the gaps, except especially if they are from the same family, that they, they can always sit together. Mm -hmm. But for all the actually now, even we advise them to just keep gap. Just one seat. So one seat yeah. uh, by it. But basically, they're in the, the, the auditor, I mean, the hall, actually, we're not going to keep any, any papers. I mean, they are, we're not going to uh, mark these seats that they, they are... So they just a common sense people just to use. Exactly, that's sure. correct. Sure. Yeah, that, that, that's what actually we're suggesting to everyone, yes. Now, the other thing, my viewers may be concerned that uh, most of the time when you put a uh, mask, if you're driving or if you're in a function, if you put mask on, I um, mean, you, you're like, your lips tend to get a bit dry. Will there be like bottles of water or some sort of a, like you know, uh, filtered water which will be available for those people who feel that you know, the face or the mouth is getting a bit dry? They could go and help, some, uh, help themselves with a glass of water? Yes, they have. Well, definitely, as far as I, I, we don't see any problem because especially this festival, I saw that we give priority to the food, food stalls. Apart from that, even though the, the bottle, I mean, somebody likes to have a glass of water, so and so, and there will be chefs and arrangements for testing, actually. There are, that's, there are food stalls who are also selling the water bottles. Mm -hmm. From there also they can get it. And for other people, now mm -hmm. for them, the, the glass of water, actually, now all these arrangements we are going to make. It, and we'll be doing that also. Now, when people come in, the first thing they want to know is whether it's going to cost them any money. Well, well, as far as this event is concerned, this multicultural ethnic dance competitions concerned, is there a charge, is there a entry fee to our viewers on television? Right. Well, it's completely free events. We are not charging even a cent, even a dollar point with anybody, mm -hmm. right? Uh, by the, the, the thing, main thing is that we, we are receiving some, some grants from the government, like especially this time from Office of Ethnic Com Communities, and also there are a few sponsors who are mm -hmm. helping us to run this program. That's why it's a completely free event mm -hmm. that we are not charging any, even the cent with anybody. Mm -hmm. Simply our motion, I mean, what we feel is that if more people, they will come and they will enjoy the festival mm -hmm. or I mean, definitely I can tell you the objective why we are organizing this one. At I'll, I'll come back to that. Yeah. Once did I'm going to do, do, I mean, say, explain that also. Mm -hmm. But anyway, just to, to answer your question that the, it's a free event or we are not charging anything with anybody. Mm -hmm. Now, as far as uh, when people come to big events like this, what numbers are you expecting? If I'm not wrong, you mentioned to me that there will be probably maybe about two and a half, two thousand seven hundred people there. So, is that the number you had last year? Last year, what happened is that we had one thousand six hundred people mm -hmm. who actually joined the festival. Mm -hmm. And well, the main thing is with even this year also we, we are facing that is the advertisement. Mm -hmm. Now, especially thanks to Daphna. TV and also the EFM actually that even last year also we were, you were there to, uh, as a media sponsor. Now, especially now to the, for this one, the, for the Asian continent, what we like also for some other, some other, I um, mean, say small groups of people that the, the, the message is going to them. But for the huge, I mean, it's a large number of the people, definitely if we, we could have contacted some other one, we could have done better. Mm. But because of the funding now, simply we are struggling. We are trying to get more people as it is possible. That's all. So c c coming back to the point on the question which I asked, mm. what is the total capacity of that hall? All right, it's 2,400. That is the capacity of the hall, so, and which we expect that it, all the seats there. So 2,400 people can sit in their viewers now, which means that you are most welcome to come in and be part of this festival. I think after COVID-19, this is the only multiracial, multi-ethnic festival where you'll be able to come in and have a look at all different types of dance items, yes. and uh, which is completely free. Now, coming back to you, Mr. Kamal, yes. what and where would people be able to park their cars? Is it a car park which is free, or do they need to come there and then put a, go and pay to the, uh, the machine and then come and park? So if you can explain our viewers, on car park. Right, actually, the thing is, uh, this Victoria Convention Center, mm -hmm. which is located in 98 Beaumont Street, uh, the Freemans Bay, Auckland, uh, there are more than 326 car parks, mm -hmm. which are in our, uh, is under our control. Mm -hmm. That means it's a free car park that people, they don't have to pay the, uh, for, for, the, 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 for the car park. 
is, but anyway, the thing is, we have a three hundred car parks inside in the in the ground floor, and there are more than twenty six to twenty eight car parks just in in the the level one. That's why anyway, it's a car free car park. That's right. Now, while we're talking at uh, the hall, now I must tell the viewers. And most of them will be thinking where this hall is, where Freeman's Bay is. Now, I must tell you, 98 at Beeman Place, um, that hall is in the city. Now, if you're in the city, if you're heading towards the Harbour Bridge, it is a last exit on the left-hand side. It's the last exit on the left-hand side. When you take, then you'll find the hall over there. So it is like as if you're going towards the Harbour Bridge. And, but it's before you get into the motorway, before you get into the Harbour Bridge, uh, uh, what do you call the motorway. So the hall itself is not far. It is maybe about two, two, two kilometres before the Harbour Bridge. So by Victoria Park Market, if I'm not wrong. Right, yeah. So it's uh, lots of car parks are available and the entry is free. Now coming back to the event, what different types of item, uh, items, what different types of items will people be able to see, witness there. Right. The, basically, just by the name, I mean, the title, said, I think you should be able to understand that it's a dancing festival. Mm -hmm. That's why, you now the dance, the dance, they are from the different ethnic groups. Mm -hmm. Right, you will find, I mean, say, even if you just compare, the dancer from India I means we have got from, say, Gujarat, we have got, got from, say, I mean, say, the under, I mean, say, Maharashtra and different Bollywood signs. So that's why these, but simply all, all these dancers just represent the ethnicity I and mean, the ethnic group. That's why, definitely, still it is from India, those, I mean, those different down, I mean, so you'll definitely feel it in quite different way, which I don't think you have to mention. Like we have got from Russia, the belly dances. Right, and only last year we had from the the, the Arabic groups, which is quite quite exciting one too. But this this year, unfortunately, oh no, unfortunately we don't have one from the the Arabian group. But anyway, there are so many, like from Vietnam, from mm -hmm. like from the say Sri Lanka, from Pakistan, and all these the the, the community they they are just representing their ethnicity. That's why still we call it a dancing. It's a dance dance group, but you will find it completely some kind of different types of the dancing that, that you'll, you'll experience. So viewers, it's going to be a wonderful event. It's going to be a, a event which you have never witnessed. So you'll be able to see different types of uh, religion group, different uh, uh, dances. And as far as kids are concerned, uh, I've seen on your brochure somewhere that the kids will be taking part as well. So will, be, there, will there be a specific uh, session for the kids as well? All right. Actually, no. We are not doing that this time because simply because of timing factor, we are starting at five o'clock. Mm. That's why we are giving just after we finish the the, the formal part, mm. the official part, that we are giving the emphasis to the kids. Mm -hmm. They are just we have like from kids from UK, United Kingdom. Also, we have got from Sri Lanka. Mm. Uh, now, their their performance they will be done at, in in the first stage, and after we finish those kids, then we'll go for the other groups. Now, as far as far as Nepal community is concerned, how big is the Nepalese community in New Zealand? Right. See, again, a very good question. Now, it, always we are telling we are still in minority, and that means uh, even the if we just go to the last consensus, I mean the last st statistical consensus. Now, what we found is about seventeen thousand Nepalese they are living in New Zealand. Mm -hmm. But uh, out of seventeen thousand, there are many. There are some of them. They are from from. They are just. They are here to for study. Mm -hmm. That means uh, just when you combine both of them, but together, it's, yeah, together. together, it's about 70,000. Uh, how many you think are living in Auckland alone itself? Uh, still, well, just uh, you're talking about the Nepalese who are living in Auckland. Yeah. Well, definitely, uh, then in that case, I must go back to 1953. Mm -hmm. That means when Edmund Hillary actually, uh, with uh, uh, Tenjing Norway, they reached the top of Mount Everest. The, that time itself, there was a couple of people now who visited New Zealand. That was in 1953. Mm -hmm. But um, when you look at the Nepalese uh, and the population who started migrating to New Zealand, mm -hmm. it's not that, that old. I think it's maximum, like me, actually, I've been here nearly it's more than 23 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. But all the Nepalese, they, they were visiting 25, and I think it's about 30, 35 years mm -hmm. that the Nepalese started mig migrating to New Zealand. So now, Mr. Kamal, as far as we're going back to the event, now what is going to be the main highlight? What is going to be the main highlight of the event, which people who are watching us or if they're listening to us somewhere, and uh, what can they expect? You know? All right. Actually, then when when I just answer to your questions, definitely we have to just look at the objectives. 
why we are organizing this festival, I mean, this multi-ethnic dance festival. That Now, this Nepalese Cultural Center, New Line Incorporated, it was established with the objective to promote treasure of Nepalese culture at first instance, mm -hmm. even tradition, but uh, it also is able to uh, disseminate information of Nepali cultures and thus be the main contact point for all community organization in the field. That's one. But the main, the uh, I mean say of the objective, main um, of this of this festival is to link all ethnic communities in New Zealand for understandings to establish peace and harmony. That means that's that is the one. And then other one is to participate. In, also, we participate in various, various activities held by other uh, the ethnic uh, communities with similar objectives. So basically this event actually um, uh, gives you a chance to bring all different ethnic community groups and their performers, like who are, you know, who are dancers, it could be singers or whatever, they could be part of this, just to mix and mingle of all different religions at one place. Right? Exactly, that's 100% uh, that's correct. That, that was the main goal of our uh, this one, the, the main mission of this uh, this festival. Right? When all of us will come in the floor, then there is more chances that that I mean, so those all understandings and everything actually we can achieve mm -hmm. uh, very easily. Now, if you compare the event this year's event with last year, now this year you know pandemic, COVID nineteen is here, and we're still going through lots of things. Lots of things are still happening, not That's only right. in New Zealand, around the world, in uh, in, yeah. in Auckland, yeah. in Auckland city. What different? It's uh, they're going to be like when people come in. What is going to be so different from last year? Right. The, the the one thing I must tell you that last year that was the fourth multi ethnic dance festival. We had lots of those. I mean, say cultural things that 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 happened that time because we had your the the you say the well, so many stalls. The, apart from the food stalls, we have got jewelry shops. We have got. Uh, the um, say the garments uh, stores and so many and there there are more than I think seventeen eighteen stores we 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 have complete cut off those things now mm -hmm. we are just going to have the food stalls mm -hmm. uh, where the people they can taste the, the, the different ethnic foods from the different countries of origin like we are, we have from the African Africans we are from the European country mm -hmm. from Asia that they all, 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 all they understood but anyway now we are just giving priority to dancing mm -hmm. from the all the ethnic groups and the food stalls. Mm -hmm. Now, as far as food stalls are concerned, you just mentioned food stalls. Now, what, uh, what, what's going to be different types of food which can be sold there? So people who are watching us, they know that whether they can uh, go home and have a shower and have a feed before they come, or they could just come and have a um, look at the dance items and just go and buy the food from the stalls and, uh, you know, have a dinner there. That's right, exactly. Now, when you look at the timing, it's 5 o'clock, means that, that, that's, that that's what we are trying to achieve. Now, that the people, they can just come by after my well it's a holiday actually that's saturday that's why they can straight away come there and then buy the food but one restriction that the problem that is that they are not supposed to take food inside the hall there is a restriction that's why only this one actually now all the, the those people joining the, uh, the i think that is becoming more and more common because uh, mm. because of the uh, uh, like the cleaning things yes and uh, most halls you go to now you need to do a cleaning before i mean i mean you need to eat before you go into the hall yes that's but you know there are choices now especially they could follow that also as you said but also what they could do they just can have a gap 10 15 minutes rest and they come outside but get the food i mean buy the food and then uh, then after they finish the food, then they can again join. They can enter the hall. Now, as far as uh, the event uh, back is concerned, um, have you got any chief guests coming in? Like you know, like normally you you have a lot of ministers, a lot of um, high commissioners coming in. So have you got something uh, of that nature happening this year as well? Yes. Well, well actually, right, right from the starting, from the first actually the festival, we are we are doing that one now. Like last year, uh, in the previous year, third one we had. Uh, Phil, uh, three, uh, three, four. He was there, like Michael Woods, uh, these Priyanka, I mean Radhakrishnan, Krishnan, and Melissa Lee, and so many other side, the MPs. They were there. Like this year also. Now, just from the radio, also actually would like to congratulate uh, Radha, Priyanka Radhakrishnan for becoming the ethnic minister, and who was always helpful. Now she was doing a lot to the to, to the center. I mean, right? That she is going to be the the chief guest this time. Mm -hmm. and apart from that, we have got the minister for. Uh, uh, transport like or uh, your Michael Wood, and also there are more like and even like I should say that the the even not Paramjit cover but uh, 
but anyway, now from different actually, where they are all representation from some mm -hmm. of the other parties also in in the. But definitely, we are inviting these the people actually now as cheap cheap guest mm -hmm. or, or just to witness the the, the show. Now, um, from uh, from what I've been told, that uh, you last week had a meeting where you had maybe about 28 uh, leaders from different communities uh, coming together for lunch and you had a good meeting and just ironing up some issues, you uh, know, just to make sure that this event is going to be a very successful one, yes. especially after COVID-19, it's going to be one of the biggest <laughs> events. Yeah. So how did that meeting go? All right, that, that was an excellent, actually, I must say that if not 100%, but definitely we achieved almost 85, 90% success in that meeting. Uh, and there we found, uh, especially from Romania, and well, even Philippines, all the country who took part from India, and all, all of them, they, 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 they were. We found them so, I mean, interested, so, I mean, so, uh, in his, in, in his, in, initiated, I mean, to do the the, the program. Uh, well, especially we, one of the reasons why we had this lunch meeting. Well, I think this is the first, for the first time, well, when the last, I mean, five, our five years of activity that now. Some of the weaknesses that we had, we try to minimize this time. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Now, whatever the, I mean, the, the, the query questions, we were able to answer them, right? And all of them, they, they, we found them very, very convinced. Mm -hmm. the, one, the, the most important thing is that they wholeheartedly accepted our invitation, and they were in the meeting. That mm -hmm. itself, I, it was really our, our I mean, it's great achievement in our part. Uh, and separately because they were asking questions and we were able to answer them and everything actually went, went on very, very smoothly. Yes, uh, I mean, I was invited there as well, but unfortunately right. I missed it. <laughs> I forgot all about it. I'm sorry about that. Oh, no, next I would time love to be part of that, we'll uh, but uh, definitely next one. I'll definitely right, make definitely sure. a note in a diary. Uh, uh. Now, uh, Kamal, now we're coming towards the end of this segment. And um, as far as the event is concerned, once again, uh, this is going to be a wonderful event. This is going to be something different. We are all different ethnicities of people will be there. A lot of different types of uh, items. Now, before you go, what message you want to give to our viewers before we finish up the segment? Right. The thing is, uh, now, as I mentioned, uh, one of our objectives is that just to link all the ethnic communities in, in New Zealand. Now, this kind of the events is very, very important. Now, without your support, without your corporations, definitely we cannot achieve anything. We cannot do it. Do, do it do. That's why uh, what we would like to... Uh, I mean, say, tell you all, all the viewers that please, please, please do join these events. And I'm sure you'll be, you'll be, I mean, say, you'll find it very interesting, very, I mean, say, uh, very, very meaningful, the, this event. And we just uh, uh, also what we think that when we are together, that we'll be, achievable, we'll be able to achieve a lot. And especially our the, the slogan, that's peace and harmony, actually. Without your shop, we, can't, we cannot achieve it. That's why our just... Uh, I mean, your request is please do attend this this program event, and which you will find is very interesting and quite memorable. Thank you very much. No, thank you, Mr. Kamal. I really appreciate your time coming to the studio and uh, giving this uh, little interview and uh, just putting these highlights of uh, the event, which is going to be happening on the 28th of November, which is going to be next Saturday. Thank you very much. Once again, on behalf of our thank you very much, yeah. we wish you all the very best of luck. Uh, now, viewers, uh, this is end of the segment. Now, as, uh, as Mr. Kamal said, that this is going to be one of the best events after COVID-19 as far as multi-ethnic community groups are concerned, uh, mostly Indian origins. Now, this event is going to be held at uh, Beaumont. Uh, that's going to be in Freeman's Bay, 98 Beaumont Street. Now, this is going to be starting at 5 p.m., finishing at 9 p.m. Uh, the entry is free. The parking is free. And uh, you'll be able to bring your family and come and enjoy different types of dance items, yes. which is going to be there. And uh, Mr. Kamal is going to be looking after everyone who will be coming there as well. Now, obviously, this is an opportunity not to be missed, where you get a free entry, free car park. So all you need to do is just come in and support this organization. And no matter who, what religion you are from, you're most welcome to be part of this festival. Thank you very much. Now, you know that Apna Television and Apna 990 has always been part of this uh, uh, organization as a media partners. And this year, again, 2020, APNA Television and APNA 990 is once again the mi biggest media partners with this organization. And we, of course, definitely need your support as a media to come and support this organization to make this event a successful one. 
Once again, I'm Richard Kumar. Thank you very much for watching us. And we shall see you next week on Apna Tour 36. I'm Richard Kumar. Jai Ho. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.